Alrighty guys, is it recording? Yes, it seems to be recording. Okay, we're gonna do one called Aroy. Um, the other one was called Apple something, but nobody's done Aroy on the videos here. Uh, the other one was called Apple Core, which looked like this, but Mimi's done that already. And so I thought, since the other one doesn't have a video attached to it, I will do that one. It says Arroyo on here, but when you get into the um, actual pattern, it just says Arroy. So there's that. You guys are too far away. It seems kind of dark today. Why is that? Uh, the sun is moving because, it, you know, it's becoming winter and the sun is moving that way away from my windows so it's not quite as bright in here as it has been so we're going to do a grid in pencil and then inside that grid we're going to do a diagonal spiral so we're going to start in the lower left corner we're going to come up and we're going to do a little spiral like a candy cane just like that on the whole darn thing then the second thing we're going to do is slightly in from the green line, we're going to make a vertical line coming down like that on all of them. And then the next thing is here, we're going to do like this sort of diamondy L shape like that. And then like this one would be continued, you know, you don't see that part, but sort of a diamondy L shape and that is it and then you do some shading and you're done I like that the on the sample they did it on a gray page they did a little light colored coloring there and then a dark shading like this that's really kind of cool we'll see what happens Turn on my light so I can see what I'm doing. Um, wondering if we didn't shouldn't do this one on a dark one. I don't get to do them on dark ones very often because not all the patterns suit a dark page. But this one seems to do. So let me see. Do I have a dark one on this size? I do. Got this size and I've got this size. Let's do this size. Okay. It's not quite square. For those of you who keep asking, this one happens to be about four and a quarter by five. So let's do a pencil grid really lightly. I do in from the edge. Can you even see that? Probably not. I can barely see it, which is all right. I don't need to see it much. And then let's see how many. Let's do. out like this. That's fairly good. That's pretty good. Okay, can you see that? There you now you can see it. I created myself a lot really light pencil grid. And now I'm going to use my gel pen. I think I'm going to use a silver one. Although the silver one is almost out of pen. How is it almost out of ink already? Huh. Okay. 
I haven't used the silver one much. At least I didn't think I had, but maybe I have. Let's use the silver one, just to be festive. And I am going to go, do I want it to live horizontal or vertical? Because I think it really, let me look. When I take my phone and I turn it, Ooh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to start in the corner. Oops. I, you know what I need to do is I need to make sure it's working. Okay. Gel pens are notorious for clogging. So we're just going to come up and around like so. That one's kind of pointy. Not exactly a nice spiral, but it is what it is. That's better. Now I'm getting on a roll. a little bit more. Like so. So far so good. Next step is to come I'm trying to decide how I want to hold my page so that I don't get ink all over my hand. This is the dry end. Okay, so I want to go inward from the, from the spiral, like this. Just like that. Right? Right. I could have done this on a wonky grid. That might have been interesting. But I didn't. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I need to do... I need to follow this and come down. Okay, so is this the dry end? <sighs> okay. Just don't want to smear anything with my hand. So I want to follow this line and then come down. This line and come down. This line and come down. This line and come down. And then the, you'd see a little bit of down there. So you'd see a down here, and you'd get this line and come down like so. And just one down. Like that. And one down. like that. Okay. Now, question is 
how do I want to shade, quote unquote, this? Because it's kind of backwards. I'll give it a good long time to dry before I erase any pencil marks. That's for sure. Um, let me look at what some of the colored pencils look like on this paper. I'm, I'm really feeling like a turquoisey blue. That would be nice. Could I do turquoise blue with silver? Or with gold? Hmm. Let me do this shape with my silver pen on the back, just to play. It's like this, and it's kind of like that, right? More or less. I'm thinking I like this. I don't like that. Okay. Let's try that shape again. I do this a lot. You guys might not always see it but I do this a lot especially in my personal artwork is I play with colors on the back ooh ooh I like that I like that a purple and this kind of teal color Okay, put those back. Now this is probably dried enough that I can erase gently my guidelines. You guys probably can't even see them anymore, but I can. I want to get rid of them. And then I want to make sure my pencils are well sharpened. I'm going to use light aqua and I another broken one. Let's try again. Come on, sharpen. That's better. Okay. Light aqua and Parma violet. So I'm going to do the violet along here. Really like that. Stands out. Wondering if I want to do one that way too. I think I do. I think I do. I think I want white. Just right there. This 
This isn't my brightest white. I have two whites. This is a student grade Faber-Castell gold Faber. And it doesn't get quite as bright as the um, Prismacolor, which is okay. Okay, I think I'm going to come outward from this corner just lightly with this blue. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. And I think I want a little more white right under here, but I think I'm going to I'm going to switch to the Prisma color cuz it's a brighter white. Maybe I've lost my pattern now, but that's okay. Once I start, I got to keep going. No, I didn't lose my pattern. I missed one though. Okay. I think we're good. I think, I think that's it. I need to sign it and I need to decide how it's going to live because it could live any direction. I kind of like it like that. I'll live it this way. It's going to be upside down from the drawing, but I don't care. That's the way it's going to live because I like it like that. All right, you guys have a great day. I will see you on next week. Um, yeah, things are going well today. I'm, I'm having a good day. That's good. I'm happy I'm having a good day. You guys have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.